Hey guys, what's up? I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs and this is another review video. Today, we're gonna be checking out this Nissan Envy van. This thing's a camper van. It's pretty cool, it's stealth, you wouldn't even know it. Let's check it out. All right guys, so you know one thing that every Nissan Envy owner wants to do? Well, heck, even if you own a van, you wanna do it. And that is putting a bigger set of tires on your van. This looks really nice, and what looks really nice is this is still the stock Nissan Envy wheel. So this is wrapped in a 285 70 17 tire. This looks great, and it looks great in here. Now, what we have done to the front of this is we have added our two inch spacer up front to give us that additional lift. Now what's nice about that spacer up here in the front is you don't need to do your shocks. It's pretty inexpensive and that is definitely a plus to get you some additional height to run these bigger tires on your Nissan Envy. All right, as I worked my way to the rear suspension to show you how we lift it in, I also noticed that they did put the window shades on the inside. That's gonna be really nice, keeping it really dark on the inside, keeping that sun out, keeping the inside cool, that's definitely a plus. Also, you can see up on the top, they've added the solar panels, you have a Wi-Fi booster, and then also a Thule storage, which is gonna be really nice to put all that gear up in there because you know that you don't want it filling up your van. So pretty neat. Let's keep working our way all the way around this van. The next thing we're gonna check out is the rear suspension. In the rear again guys we just kept it really really simple we put an inch and a half block in the rear and a new set of u-bolts now what's really nice about that is only doing that small amount of lift to the rear there's also no need for bigger shocks that's definitely a plus saving you guys even more money let's keep walking around this i just found this this is so cool right here this is a shore power plug-in right here so when you're at a campground you're at home Man, you can have this thing plugged in, charging your whole system. Dude, I just love it. Let's keep going. What else can we find on this Nissan Envy? Let's go. All right, so we're moving around this thing. The next thing I notice is they have put a rear view camera up here in the top. That's always gonna be nice because if you have the shades in your windows, you know that it's gonna be really difficult to see out the back. A lot of times we'll also run the brand motion cameras in there. It's gonna hook up to your rear view mirror. It actually replaces your rear view mirror and then runs a secondary camera. What's really nice about that system is it's gonna give you full-time live view out the back of it as well. This is really cool, I like it. We're gonna check out the inside of this thing, see how, wait, no wait, not yet. Let's finish walking around the side of this thing because I know that there is even more cool stuff out here. The first thing I did notice is I love this Thule awning. This thing looks awesome. I would love to put it out, but it's a little windy today and I'm not gonna take that chance. Let's keep moving around this van. Guys, there's so many cool things going on on this NV, and there's so many things that you don't even notice. Check out this light bar. This is a Baja Designs light bar on there. Now, what's really nice is you can see this has the amber light, so that's gonna work really good in the dust and also the fog. That looks just really clean tucked behind this stock bumper. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would love to have one of the R bumpers on the front of this Nissan envy but um that does look good and they didn't stop there you can see as we move up onto the hood there is two more lights up here on the front you can see they've also added the wind deflector up on the front of this so many cool things going on you would barely even notice this nissan envy but man this thing looks good all right now it's time let's check out the inside of it So as we come to the back of this, I'm gonna tell you there's so many things that, that I just like about it because it's so simple. You like my camouflage hat that matches my, you know, craziness. You need a WellTech hat. Anyways. All right, so the first thing that I really, really like about this is these sunshades. 
I've seen these before in a lot of other vans, but this is just a magnetic sunshade that's gonna pop in there. So what's nice about that is when I want to let the sun in, I can pop it out. I don't have any bulky things. I can fold these things up and tuck and store them away. That is going to be really nice. I think my second favorite thing that I like about this is the amount of storage that I still have in the back of this. You can see it still has a row of seating for three plus the two in the front. So I'm still gonna be able to carry five people. That's going to be great. I have storage in here. If I want to put a bike, heck, maybe even a small motorcycle, that's good. Paddle boards, all kinds of fun stuff is still gonna fit in there. And then when I'm ready to sleep, this whole bed is going to open up and I'm gonna have like a queen size bed in the back of it. Like that is just plain awesome. So I think there's so many neat things about this video, but um, maybe we wanna to talk to the owner as well and see what she uses this for. Let's go. What do you mainly use this for? Uh, mainly just for camping, getting off road a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll stay at campsites, which is why I have the, the short power as well. But um, mainly just kind of get away from people, especially the last couple of years, and just be able to enjoy nature and kind of recharge. Where is your favorite place to go? Where do you like going? Right now, I like Julian a lot. Just, oh, okay. I can get there quickly because I live you know, in the LA area, and uh, it's not too bad to get up there. and you can quiet spots and i know that one of the main things you were saying why you wanted to do this lift was just because you're dragging the steps yes yeah you can see on here they're a little chewed up from okay going over rocks and whatnot. so so awesome i know you guys are ready to get on the road but just want to say thank you for you know coming down hanging out and letting us give a tour of your van and check it out it's pretty awesome i like it so have fun with it now you know now the fun part right all right, guys, so I hope you've enjoyed this van walkthrough as well as talking to the owner about what they do with this van. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did as well. I'm Jeremy from Wild Tech Designs. I'll see you in the next video.